Welcome to Cosmic Comics. This episode of the Saga of the Serpent Crown covers events that take place in the Amazing Spider-Man Annual, issue number 23 from 1989. The first host of the Celestials genetically altered an early race of hominids, splitting it into three distinct races, the Immortals, the Deviants, and Humans. 20,000 years ago, the second host of the Celestials returned to see how things were progressing. Most of humankind had fallen into slavery under the rule of the Deviants of Lemuria, an ancient continent in the Pacific. Opposed to it was the last great bastion of humanity, the island continent of Atlantis located in the Atlantic Ocean. Amongst those enslaved by the Deviants is Atra, the greatest human alchemist of his time. This first panel is somewhat confusing as I think the word bubble should be attached to the Deviant in the background. The person it is attached to is Atra, which makes no sense since the bubble is obviously addressing Atra. Anyway, moving on. The Deviants are demanding that Atra turn over the new weapon he is working on by nightfall, and on the next page the Serpent Crown finally makes an appearance. Atra used a circle of alchemists and help from the Serpent Men to create the Serpent Crown. His daughter warns him that the Serpent Men serve a demon, but alas it is already too late. Atra has fallen under the spell of Set, and he believes that the Serpent Crown will give him the power to topple the Deviant Empire. Meanwhile, the Deviants have launched a full-scale attack upon Atlantis. The Atlantean leaders are King Camus and his wife Zartra. These two decide that their people would rather die as free people than finish their lives as Deviant slaves, and thus they order the Serpent Heads to be opened. The pressure of the lava flows underneath Atlantis had to in part be controlled by a series of pipes and vents that culminated in serpent heads and designed as a last-ditch form of self-defense. King Camus and Zartra are both happy to sentence their people to death. I mean, look at them. They, they are like balls out happy. Suddenly, Zartra is struck down by one of her former subjects who has become blinded to the deviant cause. Camus slays his wife's assassin and holds her in his arms as the tremors grow stronger. A despondent Camus chains himself to his throne and awaits the end of his nation. Switch back to Atra, whose daughter is still giving him grief about the crown. He explains to her that Set is not a demon but a god, a god who requires sacrifice. He then grabs his daughter Antilia and kills her with a knife. Cold, daddy. Cold. Atra lords over the corpse of his daughter, explaining to nobody in particular that Set instructs them to choose between love and power, and that he expects to be rewarded for his actions. As the Deviants stand on the cusp of world domination, Frog, Emperor of the Deviants, is given a message that a celestial ship has been spotted over their city. Frog is unfazed by the return of their creators and orders the ship to be shot down. It's at this moment that Atra makes his move. He teleports into Frog's throne room and claims the beginning of a new age for humans on Earth. He shoots Frog with a mental blast from the crown, but it has no effect upon the Emperor. We then learn that it was part of Set's plan all along. Set is protecting Frog because he had used Atra to make the crown for Frog. Meanwhile, the Deviant's most powerful weapons are proving useless against the Celestial Ship. Atra and Frog end up in a literal tug of war over the Serpent Crown. In Atlantis, a king screams as his nation tumbles about him. This was the chaos found by the Celestials upon their return. The Celestials passed judgment, dropping a weapon that literally rocked the world and plunged the earth of the Marvel 616 universe into a disaster known simply as the Great Cataclysm. The continents of Lumeria and Atlantis both sunk beneath the seas, killing most of the deviants and earthquakes and floods. Due to the short notice, most of the Eternals didn't have time to save very many victims of the Cataclysm, with the exception of Icarus, who guided a large arc of people and animals to safety. Upon leaving, the second host of the Celestials left one of their own buried beneath mountains and sleeping as a punishment for his crimes against life. I'll come back to this in a later video. At the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, we see the remains of Atra and Frog, each still clutching the serpent crown. The remains were preserved by the Celestials as a warning of the price of hubris. The next episode looks at the introduction of the Cobra Crown, 
Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit any of the buttons below. I'm out.